Hey now, Tugboat Willie here, and I'm going to give y'all a tour of the Captain Brian. Uh, happy Tuesday, day before crew change. Yeah, y'all check it out. All right, this is our home away from home here, the Captain Brian A. McAllister. Uh, God rest his soul. And um, this is where five of us do two weeks on at a time, two weeks off. We go home tomorrow. All right, we're going to start on the starboard side outside this is the pilot door right here um not all tugs have this but uh we do a lot of picking up the pilots and dropping them back off so that's why we have it and this is the bow big winch right there and she has a 130 ballard pull ton so i could pull up to 130 tons on that weight winch before anything starts happening this is called the a bit as you can see it looks like an a the ship line fair leads through there and then up to the ship um now we got the port side of the vessel fire stations everywhere got some ducks geese excuse me and this is the stern winch in case we ever have to go out and rescue a dead ship that is close by or something like that we could put that bad boy up and i think it has like 150 ballard pun tons of ballard pull or something along those lines uh, let me i'm gonna start with the wheelhouse and go up that's the anchor in case we ever go adrift or anything like that All right, stairs leading up to the second deck. And this is the starboard side of the wheelhouse. Big windows so we can see everything. It's pretty much all glass up here for the most part. Uh, Carlos and Jojo just shined, shined uh, these stacks today. So they look at Glink, wow. And then you can also use these stairs but they're a little steeper and a little harder to do. These are our two fire monitors in case we need to assist the FD and Y on anything. And then into the wheelhouse. I just waxed the floors earlier today. And here you have my layer. This is a tractor tug or a Z, tri Z drive tug. So this is how you steer with these, with both hands. One there and one there from previous videos. This is the brake for the winch. Or right, hold on. This is how you pay in, pay out the line right here. Or you could do render recover right here. Uh, I'll get into that more in depth when I'm actually doing the job. Cameras everywhere. You can switch it up stuff like that um this tells me how much line i have out and how hard i'm pulling this is you know rose point i, I don't know if y'all are familiar with that maybe maybe not but it pretty much shows you anywhere you want to go it's like google maps for the water um okay let me get that back and then this is the brake for the wind so once i get the line out over here where i want it to be i set the brake like that and this is all windshield wipers, searchlights, pilot house lights. I probably could have cut that on earlier, huh? And all right. Compass down there. Anyway, so I know y'all have seen this before, but this is pretty much how I'm looking when I'm sitting in the chair. All right, my bad. Uh, real quick, like I said that there's five of us on here. Uh, me, the captain, the mate, Ian, and two deck personnel, Jojo and Carlos. Uh, Carlos is with me and Ian is has Jojo. And then Chuckles is our engineer. So that's how we run around the harbor, five of us doing six hour watches and Chuck pretty much gets up at seven and works till seven at night. Or unless today he's working on the uh, starboard main engine, or no, port main engine, excuse me. And Kat's been down here 
So they've been doing maintenance all day. So when we're running around, Chuck just kind of like maintains it. But when it's time to be fixing, he's working all day. You know what I mean? This tug still has an old school log book, which I like. This is, I've been working with McAllister 19 years and we've always had this red log book. So every, every move we make is logged down all the time. Not too much today. All right. And now directly down the stairs from the wheelhouse, you come into my room. And this goes up into the galley. I'll show you that later. But this is where I lay my head. It's actually a pretty decent sized room. And gadgets and whatnot. And then me and Ian, he's the mate, share this head. Shower. Shitter. And this goes into his room. He just laid down, so I'm not going to show you that. And then out of my room... You come into the galley. This goes downstairs this way, and then this way is where we hang. Carlos eating dinner, All right? He's a ex-professional soccer player, so we watch a lot of soccer. And, you know, this is usually for just waters and drinks and that kind of such. And then we usually try to keep the pantry nice pretty stocked and whatnot. It's day before crew chain, so it usually looks better than that. And this is where we do our cooking thing. Yeah. This, I should have showed you this. This comes in from the back deck right behind the big winch back there. This way goes down into the engine room through this door. And this is another small head. Usually we call this the pilot's head. Uh, that's usually the one that they use. So now we're gonna take a quick trip downstairs. Um, this is the breezeway downstairs, Chuckle's room, uh, Jojo and Carlos's room, and their head down here. So it's really, you know, the boat's only 100 foot long, but it's wide, and uh, there's plenty of room. Hey Chuck, can I put you on video real quick? No. Well, I was going to show you the ECR room, but I can't do that. Well, Chuck don't like to be on video. So is what it is and that's the captain brian i will show you the ecr room and the engine room once they get it all put back together and chuck will let me so please